Good day, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Mining News Flash. Today, with Greenbridge Metals, Canada Nickel, and Victoria Gold on Commodity TV, Greenbridge Metals acquired an option to earn an 80% interest in a world class copper nickel exploration portfolio at the Duluth Complex in Minnesota. The South Contact Zone project covers 8,460 hectares and is located in northern Minnesota. It is one of the largest undeveloped mineral deposits in the world, rich in copper, nickel, and other metals. The exploration plan for this new project and the Chrome Putty project already in the portfolio in Ontario is to expand the known mineralized systems and exploit the exceptional exploration potential on both projects. Greenbridge Metals will focus primarily on the South Contact Zone group of properties to prioritize drill-ready and permit-ready targets and expand airborne geophysical coverage. At Chrome Putty, the focus is on expanding target areas near the historic resource by acquiring high-quality electromagnetic airborne geophysical surveys. New money and an update is announced by Canada Nickel, long-time funding partner. Auramet has agreed to provide 15 million US dollar bridge facility that will allow Canada Nickel to remain well-funded to continue advancing its permitting, engineering and financing activities. Discussions with Offtake and project partners for Crawford are ongoing and are expected to be finalized before year-end as the company continues to target a construction decision for Crawford by mid-2025 following receipt of permits. Victoria Gold will also raise new money, but in this case through a project sale. The sale of the Clear Creek property to Sitka Gold will provide Victoria Gold with nearly 22 million common shares of Sitka, representing 8% of Sitka's issued and outstanding shares. To complete the transaction, Sitka is required to make additional milestone payments of up to $11 million. As additional consideration, Sitka will grant Victoria a 5% net smell return royalty on the Clear Creek property upon completion of the transaction. Sitka has the right to purchase 60% of the NSR royalty from Victoria at any time after the grant of the NSR royalty by making a one-time cash payment of $10 million. In the event that Sitka demonstrates publicly proven and probable mineral reserves of 2 million ounces of gold or more, a payment of $10 million in cash will again be due to Victoria Gold. In addition, on Monday 24th June, Victoria Gold made a very unfortunate announcement. On Monday morning, a landslide caused the heap leach pad at the Eagle Gold Mine in the Yukon to fail. It is Victoria's only production facility and operations have been temporarily suspended due to the incident while the operations team on site, along with management, continue to assess the situation and gather information. At this early stage, it can be confirmed that damage to infrastructure has occurred and some of the outage has left containment. No persons were, thank God, not in injured in connection with the incident. The company will provide further information as it becomes available. We also have no further information as of today. You can also find all the information on our Commodity TV app in German and English as well as everything to do with commodities. We look forward to your like and more importantly, please subscribe to our TV channel. Please note the disclaimer. The shares discussed are will be part of the SRC Mining Special Situation Certificate and I'm a shareholder in the companies. Thanks for watching us and bye-bye from Switzerland.